हे गाइज हाय दिस इज अभिषेक मास्टर टीचर ऑफ फिजिक्स अटवेदांतु एंड वेलकम टू दी स्पेशल वीडियो सीरीज वेर वी आर एक्चुअली लर्निंग हाउ टू स्कोर हंड्रेड परसेंटेज ऑफ मार्क्स इन दैप्टर मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट इन दैट एग्जामिनेशन विच इज कमिंग फॉरवर्ड इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन मार्च इज इन दैट वॉट इज दैट एग्जामिनेशन सी बी एस ई टेन बोर्ड एग्जैक्टली करेंट ठीक है सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड टू ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस द नंबर वन वाज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन वी कवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ बोर्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स इन दैट एज वेल एंड नंबर टू वाज द हैंड रूल्स एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू से थैंक यू टू ईच एंड एवरी फॉर सपोर्टिंग अस इन द इनिशियल वीडियोज वी लव यू गाइज सो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दो विच मेनी ऑफ यू गाइज हैव अ प्रॉब्लम so i thought you why not let's take it isn't it so the topic which came into my mind and which we got a lot of requests from was this so please try to explain the concept of current carrying conductors straight conductors circular loop and solenoid isn't it so today to start with for the session 3 let's go for the concept what is the magnetic field by a current carrying straight conductor that's the question of today which we are going to answer and we'll try to prove in all the ways how to get the perfect score in this particular question now guys this concept is very very important it comes in almost all the cbse 10 board examinations so i believe all of you guys are going to focus on that ultimately we'll also be able to answer can this particular straight carrying current carrying conductor could be considered as a magnet yes or no it's a very important question which will actually help you in your cbc 12th also in your je mains theek hai chalo fir aage badhte hain let's see what we have got so following to the first topic which looks like this that is current carrying conductor this is the initial setup let's work on that one let me tell you what are the parts here and how to focus okay so starting right now i believe all of your pens and papers are ready to note this down so here which you see is is nothing but a normal circuit dekhte hain kya ho raha hai in this circuit if you notice there is a conductor let me point it out this end is a conductor this entire length let me name that this entire length is nothing but a conductor of length l L length does not matter i'm just stating it let me name that conductor that would be better so two points this is the conductor ab one end of the conductor a is connected to the positive side of the battery the other end of the conductor b is connected to the negative side of the battery isn't it and both of them are connected to a key plug that is nothing but a switch as soon as the key plug or the switch is turned on something happens to the circuit which we will understand right now but before that to a very interesting thing to notice the conductor is passed through a small sheet of cardboard or paper or glass anything which you can take up so let me let me note it down as cardboard cool cardboard now for example this is the conductor and this is the cardboard the conductor is passing through exactly through the cardboard and on this cardboard just because we are completely jobless we have put a lot of magnetic materials for example iron fillings for example iron fillings we have put on it why iron fillings because what we are trying to find out is whether a magnetic field is being generated by the straight conductor or not and how will we find out whether the magnetic field is being generated just put some magnetic materials around it if magnetic field is generated then definitely those materials will either get attracted or get repelled simple scenario that's the case we are doing so we have put a lot of iron fillings on top of this particular conductor as you can see very carefully now what happens we turn on the battery as soon as we turn on the circuit and the battery the current starts flowing the current when as soon as the current starts flowing we see a visual treat what is that we see that all the iron fillings on that particular cardboard start arranging themselves as concentric circles as concentric circles and all that concentric circles have just one center what is that center 
nothing but the conductor itself the conductor itself becomes the concentric circle it is just like one simple thing how many of you guys definitely you must have done this in your childhood you have taken a stone or something and put inside the pond or a lake or your swimming pool something like that sort what happens as soon as the stone goes inside the water you see the ripples start creating and that ripples when you see it from top it definitely looks like what concentric circles aren't they so definitely look like concentric circles and what is the center the center is nothing but where you put the stone similar case here also the conductor is the center and from the center the magnetic field originates in the form of concentric circles that's what we understand now to just to give you a visual treat there also for killer visualizations let me show you guys this particular gif look at this very carefully this is a straight current carrying conductor which you notice this is a very straight current carrying conductor a straight wire and as soon as the circuit is turned on what do we see we see the ion fillings which is there on the cardboard plate forming concentric circles look at it very carefully see they are forming concentric circles as soon as you turn it on that's all a very interesting concept isn't it that's all about the straight current carrying conductor but the problem which comes here is this question let me ask you guys that question the question is this if we change or if we vary the current's magnitude and direction does the magnetic field's magnitude and direction change what do you guys think yes or no let me give you 5 seconds to think about it just imagine in that in that circuit which we notice if i change the battery from 6 volt to 12 volt or from 12 volt to 20 volts the current will change in the circuit due to that change in current will the magnetic field's magnitude change or the direction change what happens to it Yes or no? Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up. I believe all of you guys must have answered it yes itself. Congratulations! Then you have got it correct. How so? You must be interested. It's pretty simple. Uh, Mr. Arrested. I believe all of you guys know who is arrested. His full name is Hans Christian Arrested. His experiment with which we start the entire chapter. He in the starting itself proved it very, very deeply that whenever there is an electric current, magnetic field is going to be generated. And if we change the magnitude of current, then definitely magnetic field's magnitude also will change, and they are directly proportional. So, guys, please note that this down very carefully. If the current's magnitude changes. then your magnetic fields magnitude will also change if you guys are wondering what is b b is the denotion or how magnetic field is represented in an alphabet it's b theek hai and they are directly proportional if you increase the current magnetic field increases if you decrease the current magnetic field also decreases cool also arrested also said one very interesting thing that is if you change the direction of current if you change the direction of current then also your magnetic fields direction changes then also your magnetic field direction changes so that would mean the current's magnitude and direction definitely changes the magnetic fields magnitude and direction but the concept here is we have a formula to find out the magnetic fields magnitude when the current changes which is apparently not in your syllabus but one thing is there in your syllabus that is nothing but how to find the direction of the magnetic field let me put forward a question which i think we have covered in the previous videos which we was talking about the hand rules here is the question guys which rule will we use to find out the direction of current in the case of a straight conductor option a fleming's left hand rule option b fleming's right hand rule option c maxwell's right hand thumb rule or option d <laughs> my personal favorite <laughs> fleming's head rotation rule what do you guys think what is the correct answer i will give you guys exactly 5 seconds to answer it come on guys you guys are smart enough to answer it your time ends in 5 4 3 2 1 i truly believe no one went forward for the fleming's head rotation rule because there is no rule of that particular sort okay so it was fun making that option but the correct answer comes out to be obviously one second yes the correct option comes out to be okay just give me one second 
Yes, got it back. Yes, so the correct option comes out to be Fleming's right hand rule, which is perfectly sorry, Maxwell's right hand thumb rule is the correct answer. Now, guys, we have taken a special video on all the hand rules Maxwell right hand thumb rule, Fleming's left hand rule, Fleming's right hand rule, and where we have done a lot of numerical questions on this particular topics in our previous video. Check that out on our channel that is Vedantu class 10 channel specifically dedicated for all of you guys. Okay, please check it out if you have not subscribed yet. Subscribe and share the channel moving forward so what does Fleming's right hand rule state thumb rule state I'll just define it to you in a simple manner that is nothing but if you have a straight conductor which you see here you have a straight conductor which you see here and imagine this pen is the conductor current is going upward Maxwell says Maxwell right hand thumb rule says if you point the thumb in the direction of the current so current is going upward. So I'll point my thumb in the direction of the current. Then he states that the direction in which your fingers curl the conductor, the direction in which your fingers curl the conductor will give you the direction of the magnetic field. So if you notice very carefully, the current is going upward. And here in this scenario, if you look very carefully, the magnetic field takes this particular turn. So the magnetic field also takes this particular turn. Obviously concentric circle that remains the same, but the magnetic field is produced in this particular direction. That's what Mr. Maxwell's right hand thumb rule states. Take care. Now guys, a very important question. The question is nothing but can it be considered as a magnet? Obviously before we go on to that, I truly believe you guys must have understood if I rotate, if I make the current is going downward, it's pretty simple. I'll keep my thumb downwards and obviously your magnetic field will be rotating on the otherwise. Just to give you guys a tip, very important tip, keep that in your mind. I have stated this in the previous video also, just to keep you aware about it, alert about it so that you can do it easily in your examination. Simple thing. Remember that if the current is going upward, then the magnetic field is always anti-clockwise. Remember this, just a small tip. You can see here, the current is going upward and your fingers are rotating. How they are rotating? This rotation, this rotation is nothing but anti-clockwise rotation. Hence, it's anti-clockwise. Whenever the conductor has a current going downward, obviously it will be the opposite and now it will be going clockwise. As simple as that. Keep that in your mind. A small trick, a small you know tip to remember in your examination so that you go, don't have to in your examination extend out your right hand and do all those processes. Take it, don't do that. Moving forward to the question, can it be considered as a magnet? A very simple question guys. To understand this, we just have to keep in mind one simple thing. To become a magnet, you must have magnetic field originating out of a pole and magnetic field emerging inside, sorry, going inside a magnetic pole. Correct. That means I am trying to say that you must have a north pole and a south pole to form a magnet. My question to all of you guys right now is if we can prove that in this particular straight current carrying conductor, there is a north pole and a south pole, then there will be no questions that this is not a magnet. This cannot be considered as a magnet, isn't it? Simple. So let's check it out. A simple question I would like to ask all of you. The pole at which the magnetic field lines originate in a magnet is what? North pole or south pole? What would be your answer? From where the magnetic field lines originate from a magnet? If you guys have seen a proper magnet, if you guys have understood this chapter, you would know this answer. It is one of the properties, one of the very crucial properties of magnetic field lines that all of them originate from where? From nothing else but the North Pole. All of them originate from the North Pole and all of them end at the South Pole. It's a closed loop, isn't it? If you remember this, then it's pretty easy. So I'll repeat this statement again. The place from where all the magnetic field lines originate or seems like it's coming out of the magnet, it is called as North Pole and from the place where it all ends inside the magnet is called as South Pole. Keeping this thing in mind, let us look at the same picture again. Let us prove that how can this could be a magnet and this is very crucial as I said for your CBC 12, CBC 10th and GE mains everything. So keep it in your mind. Let's go forward. Take it guys. Simple conductor, current is going upward, magnetic field is this way. We proved it. Let's imagine, let's take this screen. Let's take this entire screen or what you see in front of you as a plain sheet or a flat 
wall let's take it as so if i just mark the center part as a dotted line the magnetic field here is anti-clockwise isn't it because the current is going upward so it's anti-clockwise you can see very clearly notice very careful notice guys my question is the magnetic field when it is rotating magnetic field when it is rotating doesn't it look like that the that all the magnetic fields on the lhs are coming out of the screen doesn't look like so if i have my conductor also kept here using my right hand thumb rule current is going up i can see very clearly that my fingers will curl in this direction that from the left hand side my fingers come out isn't my fingers are coming out think and tell me now can this particular left hand side can be denoted or represented as a north pole yes or no obviously yes because the current looks like the magnetic field looks like it's emerging out from here coming out from here so we have noted that the left hand side can be a north pole similarly if you notice now it is easy now it is pretty easy if you understood that now it is pretty easy now if i name this side as rhs now you guys are smart enough look at it very carefully all the magnetic field lines are going inside the screen similarly let's do it with our hand itself it came out from the left hand side but it goes inside from the right hand side isn't it the magnetic field is going inside from the right hand side by using right hand thumb rule so we can imagine that this entire side is south pole so we have got our north pole and the south pole near our current carrying conductor hence it could be considered as a magnet now the only question left is what happens if i change the current's direction will this polarity change what do you think will it change or not i believe you have the perfect answer definitely it will change because when the current's polarity changes magnetic fields polarity also changes as said by christian arrested we are not saying anything else so when you look into it look at it very carefully the current is now acting downward the thumb rule is going to act downward simple as that look at it very very carefully and try to realize what are we going through here simple thing now what has happened current is going downward when the current is going downward we know that the magnetic field is what it's clockwise we know that so now look very carefully and let me divide this into two parts again now LHS look at LHS what is happening it looks like in the LHS now all the magnetic field is going in hence south pole and on the RHS it looks like the magnetic field is coming out hence north pole so what happened polarity change first there was north and there was south now there was south and there was north but guys so we have now literally proved three important stuff number one a magnetic field is generated around a straight current carrying conductor and the shape of it is concentric circles centered at the conductor itself the center of the conductor itself is the center of the magnetic field all of them number two to find out the direction of the magnetic field we will be definitely using right hand thumb rule and the magnetic magnetic field's magnitude and direction is definitely dependent upon the current's magnet ma current's magnitude and direction very very important conclusions and now we have also proved that your straight current carrying conductor can also be termed as a magnet that's it guys in the next video thank you for watching this video first of all in the next video we'll be definitely looking forward the magnetic field around a current carrying circular loop i believe many of you guys might be waiting for this because i've got a lot of requests to take this it's going to happen in the session four we're going to go really deep into it and not only we are going to cover this topic we are also again going to prove that how can be how it can be considered as a magnet apart from these two important parts we're also going to understand the most famous rule called as clock phase rule which is there in your 12th but a lot of questions come in the 10th standard also so be ready for that for the next video one very small thing guys if you guys have not liked shared subscribe the channel yet please do that and like and share this video if you loved it and if you loved it please put down in the comments as well and let me know which other topic to take i've got many requests to take dc motor and ac generator i'll be definitely taking that as well but share me get to share kar dena chahiye or subscribe karna and share it to your friends let's help all the students out there related to this topic cool finally at the end guys thank you so much for watching this video until the next time this is abhishek signing off enjoy your life